Dear Diary, They say friends are the family we choose, which by implication means our family is the family we don't choose. If you're wondering why I'm stating something that obvious, wait until you meet my father. That's him. He is deaf. And I don't mean that like in he's dead serious or he bores me to death. No, he literally is deaf. Ruler over the underworld, reaping the souls of the living after they pass away. Well, that alone wouldn't be much of a problem. I mean, other children have cruel parents as well. Parents who are tax officers, lawyers, or even teachers. My problem is... For days, I've been dreaming of this human boy, crying out for me. I don't know him, but I have the strong feeling that I have to come and help him. However, father would never, ever allow me to travel to the land of the living, because he's practically afraid of everything I want to do. I'm not to play basketball since I might get a splinter in my finger. I must not go into the forbidden forest because, quote, an unimaginable evil lives there, unquote. And the land of the living, you might guess it, is a no-go as well. Don't get me wrong. I usually do what father tells me, but not this time. This time, I'm going to find a way to escape. The catch? We've just had a big fight, and eventually, Father grounded me and locked me up inside my room. So I have to find a way to get out of here first. Maybe I should start searching by examining the strange box by the window that just happened to pop up out of nowhere. A box? How in Hades' name did this get here? What kind of beastie are you? Hm, huh. seems like a shy little fellow. Just wait, I'm going to get you. <sighs> Father says, in contrast to common belief, only Vampire X can keep vampires away. Whereas garlic only drives off the people you love. On the tag, it says, warning, may irritate the eyes. That might come in handy. Ugh, seems like father brought a souvenir from one of his last reapings. Very oily. Great idea. The skeleton arm serves as an extension for the scythe. Now, I just need something to use my new invention with. Hmm, what now? I hope this doesn't hurt too bad. these beautiful glowing lights inside the jar. Father gave them to me as a death day present. He says they're called hot spots, whatever that means. There is some sticky sweet mucus at the bottom. Probably it has been used to attract the fireflies. Limby, I need a hand here. Oh, <laughs> it worked. Fly, little hot spots. Your time in captivity is over. Oh. They don't leave. They want to stay with me, their savior, so we can go on adventures together. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, it won't move. Seems like the wheel it is attached to is too rusty. Hmm, that should do the trick. Okay, let's give this another try. <laughs> Whoa, that ectoplasm is one hell of a lube. <laughs> Every time I try to grab it, it flees to another position inside the shelf. Maybe I can set a trap? Maybe if I place this in here, my spidery friend will get stuck in the sweet mucus at the bottom. <laughs> yes! Let's put the lid back. Gotcha. <laughs> I won. Aw, don't cry. Let me suggest something. If I let you out of that jar, will you be a good demon creature and stay in my pocket? Okay, I trust you. Don't make me regret it. It's much too small. For me? Okay, little friend. I have a mission for you. Can you squeeze through that crack into my father's study and get me the keys to my door? Oh, good. <laughs> You're so cute. Good luck. I should keep an eye on this eye. <laughs> <laughs> 